Is, Lord, is there no word of hope for the faithful, the ables? It's you, call them my Lord. He answers, to my ables, I say, I will make my justice known. Do not be afraid. I know you by name and you know me. Always be wanting peace with all people. Make sure that no one disobeys his leader so that no root of rebellion begins in him. Continue in my grace and do not harden your hearts. I am your hope. And in me, be rooted. I will look after you while iniquity eternally. Be one in my name. Then on May 12, 1995, which was on Friday, scriptures say, if a property has no offense, it will be plundered. Uh, Sirach 36, verse 25, that's the same thing as Ecclesiasticus 36, 25. And then, uh, Lord, let your arms be my fence. Protect me. I am your property. Don't allow the plunderer to step inside your property and make a devastation out of it. Otherwise, I'll end up in flames. The Lord says, I, unlimited salvation, will always be your protection. The save now, understanding on this is this. The Savior used the word protection instead of protector. And then he continues by saying, do not lose the peace I have given you. Now, a reference to John 4.34, which has to do with the Samaritan woman. Uh, your food is to do my will. That's in John 4.34. By grace, I have lifted you to be my bearer. And by grace, you will complete your work with me. Do not be astonished the way I have spread my message. Open your ear, doctor, and hear the sound of my footsteps. I am not far from you. Eternal Savior means his return. Now the Lord Jesus continues speaking by saying, work for my church. I, unlimited salvation, the anointed king, prepared for you water to drink and relieve you. I know that this is hard, my beloved, to be crossing this ruthless desert, but I am with you. Now, the eternal Father, Almighty, speaks now. He says, I, your heavenly, Father, Almighty, bless you. Every word you utter about me glorifies me. Every heart conquered while you speak sanctifies you. Every blame thrust on you unjustly, purify, unjustly purifies your soul, drawing it closer to me. Should everyone, even your dearest friends, abandon you, I will never abandon you. You're my delight. To lead you is also a delight for me. I have entrusted you with my work. So like a lamp, keep it alight and shining. Your era is obscure, my child. But by using what I have preached to you and taught you, many will see the way, the way, and will understand that I am their source of life, light. Many will be attracted and will enjoy the light I am giving them. And in this light I am shedding on them, they will learn the only truth. Truth. That is, that I am the only true God, an unlimited salvation, anointed King, my only Almighty Son, Lord of lords the anointed one my teachings will give them a better knowledge of my word i have told you all this that you may find peace in me and consolation remember too my daughter that in times of danger i will lift you i guarantee to you that you will reach the end of the road i have laid out for you Although you will continue to be a sign of contradiction, you will accomplish your mission with me, and you will glorify me. Amen.
Then for Saturday, eternal salvation forgives sins and purifies. I am coming to you with peace in his name. Pray. I am praying for you. Later on, peace, peace. Love all the things that God Almighty has given you. May your love grow constantly and may it increase. Daniel. And then, uh, continuing on. For Saturday, I was thinking when I just watched the documentary of the Fatima miracle, how even with that, many people were skeptic, calling it all sorts of things like mass hypnosis, etc. In the old times, this sort of miracle would have been believed and written in the Holy Bible. But nowadays, years have to go by before being accepted. I'm fearing that your message will not be counted that it's from you, since there will be no physical proof or prediction in it. Every high authority, if it comes that far, will not even pay attention to your appeal. And I know that your cup of justice is that it's full now. The world is offending you very much. They will not listen. God says, is there a higher authority than your God Almighty? No, my God. None. But if they do not listen, some of them might think it is propaganda for the church. I mean, those who are in the high authority and anti-church, they might think that all this was made up, made up by the church. The, and he says, daughter of the king, I am the most high. And all authority will come from me. And she says, and if they do not believe, he says, I will not write down what will happen if they will not listen for, from their obduracy. Are you fearing me, little one? God Almighty must have felt in me a fear that passed through me at the same time when he was writing the word happened. I felt a pang of sadness in God Almighty's heart. He says, I from your, she says, I from your wrath. He says, I will endure and forgive your sins, but I will not endure your hatred against me. I am your creator, and your breath comes from me. I hold the whole of my creation in my hand. I loathe paganism, atheism. Daughter of the king, let me guide you. Come, my child, rest in me. Okay, and then continue on. Our Lady, and then going back to 1995, Our Lady speaks. She says, Pethimo, in Greek, my child. The Almighty's designs are so profound in His message that many will be healed. My Almighty Son is with you. I'm also with you. I have come to assure you of my assistance. Add a smiling face to all your gifts. Our Lady and saying these words to me was smiling and had a slight tone of teasing because of my so downcast face. Immediately while saying this to me, not only did my face brighten up, but I found myself laughing with delight. And she goes on, continue to please God Almighty by prophesying and showing to every nation what He has truly revealed to you so that all those who listen to you may acknowledge Him as Savior and as love. Continue to draw every soul into the intimacy of God Almighty attract my children into the divine love of God Almighty. And you, my daughter, grow in His eternal spirit and never feel downcast. Expand His message as you do now and remain reassured. God Almighty is with you. And then Saint Michael, the Archangel, speaks. He says, Daughter of the King, have you not read, like a young man marrying a virgin, so will God marry you?
who formed you wed you. And as the bridegroom rejoices his bride, so does your God Almighty rejoice in you. It goes with Isaiah 62, verse 5. I know this, daughter of the king. Every time a soul awakens and finds God Almighty, all heaven rejoices and celebrates as men are happy and celebrate when they are invited to their wedding. So it is when heaven celebrates. I wish to tell you that many times you have made our joy in heaven increase when you're in your nothingness. You glorify the Almighty by bringing souls to love God. So do not fear. And now write again what had been inscribed on a tablet in a book long ago, but remained in to be a witness forever, so that it may serve in the time to come. This is rebellious people. They are lying sons, sons who will not listen to I am who I am's orders. That's Isaiah 30, verses 8 and 9 through 11. To the seers, they say, see no visions. To the prophets, do not prophesy the truth to us. Tell us flattering things. Have illusory visions. Turn aside from the way. Leave the path. Take the holy one out of our sight. Isaiah, okay. In a short time, a very short time, the holy one will come as a flame of devouring fire and surprise the arrogant, but the lowly will rejoice for having put their hope in him. Salvation comes from above. Sovereignty leans down from heaven to be gracious to you. Therefore, anyone who listens to his calls and prepares himself by repenting will be like the sensible man who built his house on rock. The Lord is your rock. I am the guardian of your house. The word house can be understood as soul. Daniel 12, 1 says, At that time, Michael will stand up, the great prince who mounts guard over your people. And, then, and the Lord will be the foundation of your house. And now, doctor of the most high. One advice, remain rooted in God, in his love. And no attack will be able to shake you. Remain united in the most holy, almighty trinity. And you'll shake your accusers by your firm resistance to temptations. Remain in the most holy trinity. And you'll have in you the strength for this battle to hold on until the end, never giving in. You'll obtain enough grace from God Almighty's own glorious powers so that you accomplish your mission. Everything will be done in perfect harmony, and you will learn to bear your trials with astounding joy. Glory to Him who is pouring on you His graces to maintain you in His light, His mercy, to sustain His justice. His strength to make you live according to His commandments. I am thy am is just and good, full pity for His children, faithful and true for all times. Unsparingly, He offers His gifts and shares His treasures, drawing each soul into His heart. Have no fear, I am thy am is with you. Holy Michael, the archangel of God. And the I am who I am. And then continue on. Later, your side withdraws like a million words of love to me. Yes, I am talking about your side you gave me this morning. She says it's true. She says it's true. It's this morning I just thought of eternal Savior with love. I wanted to tell him so much, but I could not find even the right words. I gave a sigh only, but he seemed to understand a lot from my sigh. He says, daughter of the king, love me blindly and let me use you as I wish. Be utterly nothing, so in being nothing, I can be everything and thus complete my works. Creating you was a delight for me. My God, I fear to disappoint you by being unfaithful to you. I don't know even if I was to start with at all faithful, so what am I saying of keeping faithful if I don't know having been at all faithful? It says, from all eternity, I knew you to be weak and wretched, but I love you. I have taken my measures so that you remain faithfully mine. Have you imagined that I have not known all this? I knew everything, and that is precisely why I chose you. I told you that your ineffable weakness and misery attracts me. Come, this guidance will restore my honor. I rejoice at how it will remedy your injustices. Daughter of the king, crown me with tender words. My words, Lord. What possible value have they got to such a majestic presence says every tender and loving word coming from you becomes divine in my presence